Alright guys, we drove about how long? 11 or 12 hours yesterday. Actually, I think 13 hours yesterday. We drove 13 hours yesterday and now decided to drive four hours out of the way to go fish Lake Erie. So, going to drive over to Lake Erie and fish for a couple of days because it is completely legal to fish there. There's no tournament going there this year, so it's not off limits for anything. And we're not allowed to fish there in this tournament because you got to go over Niagara Falls to get there. So, Lake Ontario, Lake Erie are probably going to fish similarly. So, we're going to go to Lake Erie for a, a day or two. Try to catch some big smallmouth. Shouldn't be too hard to break my PB smallmouth in some of these lakes. So, let's go have a good time today. We are almost to New York, but we're driving across Pennsylvania right now. Go catch some bass. Hey, dude. Hey, yeah, I'll figure out what they in, I believe. <laughs> I think I got a big small mouth. I don't know how big. There he is right there. I can't tell how big these suckers are. Dude, how they do that crap? I don't know how big that is. How big is it? That's a good one too. Dang, I mean it wasn't a, it wasn't big as that last one. There's about to be 18 of them right here. I thought it was about to bust them right there in that little chute. I've been up all night, no sleep. Good at. I'm trying. I know. That's, what, that's one reason I'm lifting this one or grabbing this one like this. I thought I need to get good at it. You weren't even hooked. Barely. Dang. Not real sure how I even missed him, but I did. I don't even understand how I ain't caught one right here.
This is not the kind, my friend. So, Lake Erie today has been uh, tough, tough on me anyways. Um, maybe I got the wrong conditions for the way that I'm trying to fish. I really wanted to kind of sight fish around, catch some cruisers. Seen some, only seen a couple good ones, but I couldn't get it. Oh, I got one to bite, lost him. But other than that, I'm trying to fish deep some too, and haven't really kept been catching them out there in the 20th range. The uh, most consistent thing I found was like the 15 foot range, and that's the one depth that I don't have a lot of, I don't see a lot of good looking stuff in that particular depth range. So, we got another day out here tomorrow. I think we're going to focus in the 15 ish foot range out here tomorrow and try to make it happen because the 10 to 4 ain't working and the 20 to 30 ain't working so we'll stay in the uh i guess 10 to 20 tomorrow They're in these grass veins. Cause I just had another one a little bit bigger than that follow it. Like on the other side, and I came back to it. That's a different fish. I watched him eat it. There's a smallie right there. I can't freaking tell. He's like 18 foot deep. He little.
little one. I kind of got sick of throwing this thing after yesterday. Kind of a good one in it. Oh, I came off. Do you have a scale? Yeah, but it don't work. I'm gonna swing him. He's little one. And he's off. Oh god, it's a big one. Drop it just right, drop it right in front of him. He's still right there, I see him. Alright, drop it, drop it. He's going towards it. Hop it up right over his head. Oh, you got him. You gonna swing him or me get him? Get him, get him. That's the big one. <laughs> I lost the last one I tried to get with that thing. Oh God, did he come off? <laughs> Dude, did you see how high he jumped? Do you have that on camera? <laughs> I think so. He was so big. That was like a four pounder, I believe. I don't freaking know. He's probably a three and a half. He so I gotta put that sucker on enough weight where I can boat swing him. I mean, big enough line. I think it just loses them too much. We done lost the two big ones on that thing. That's what they all do. They jumped this freaking high. All right, guys. So that video right there was our first time ever fishing for smallmouth. You know, me and Hunter was really out there trying a few things. And the interesting thing we was trying to do is find a couple different ways to catch the smallmouth. So whenever we'd get a couple bites out of an area, we really didn't fish it that long. We would kind of move on and go try to catch them doing something a lot different. So we caught some fish. We lost a bunch. Something about them smallmouth, especially on that little swim bait we was throwing. It's hard to get them suckers in the boat. So... You know, we, we had some nice bites, probably had the bites to have 16, 17, 18 pounds, something like that, but didn't get them in the boat, and that's how it goes sometimes, but anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. 60% of y'all are not subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see y'all.